Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Well, welcome back to day three of Worlds Testing. If you're watching live, hello. I see some people are already in the chat. Uh, if you're watching this as a VOD, all good, no problem. Uh, so we've been working on this list recently, which I have renamed to Chonkinthia. Little, little, uh, doesn't roll off the tongue quite right. I might go with Chonkthia, Chonkinthia, Chonkthia, I'm not sure. Um, it's 2 a.m. for you. That's pretty hardcore. I guess you're in you're in uh, in Europe. I guess. Josh, let's do a draft. Yeah, I, I saw that there was a new functionality for a draft. Um. Uh, I'd be down to do that, but I would like to organize that ahead of the stream, and then, yeah. Hello, Willie B. Nice to see you. All right. Um. So the deck that we've been piloting, well, two days ago, is a deck that utilizes chunky attacks, like CNC, E-Strike, Fendel's Fighting Spirit, uh, Barraging Bronhide, and Wounded Bull. So in total, I have 15 of these chunky attacks that, uh, that have been doing a very, very good job against the, um, Ice Heroes. Um, I I do actually think there might be some um, some uh, some cards I need to switch. Um, mainly, I'm actually looking at uh, taking this card out for certain matchups. Um, as crazy as that sounds, like. If they have a D-React, they can shut this down pretty easily. Um, it's just not a powerful card unless you really have a five-card hand. Against certain decks, you're not going to have a five-card hand. And if you play this and they have a D-React, it's actually fairly straightforward for them to shut down. Um, so this is actually a card I've been looking to maybe even trim down to two, as, as crazy as that sounds. Um, also, Sharpen Steel might be trimmed down to two. Uh, other than that, I've been quite liking everything else. Um, somebody asked me recently, what? how do I rank these chonky attacks? I think the best one is uh, Fendel's Fighting Spirit. It just has the most upside and in many situations... Uh, I'd say it's just a little bit better than E-Strike. I'd say E-Strike would probably be second. Uh, Wounded Bull would be either second or third. And then Bronhide, I would say, is last. This card, actually, I might be swapping for, like... I don't know, Erase Face. Or, I, I, don't, I don't know quite what I want to do here, but... There's a limited number of three-cost attacks. So, we can't just, like... We can't run... Like, the only other one is Raging Onslaught, which is vanilla. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyways, um, yeah. Let's just get back to grinding. You guys have any questions? Feel free to ask in the chat. If you guys would like to challenge me, that's also good. Yeah, erase face could be useful. It's also a, a two cost card. So I think right now the 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 math is like not too bad. Um, I think I think I have enough blues to support most of these. Like. CNC requires a yellow or a blue. E Strike can be anything. Fendel's Fighting Spirit, Wounded Bull, and Barraging Brownhood all require a blue. You want to challenge me? All right, come join my game. I think uh, my game name is 376. Is 
Is that you, Justin? I thought you only play wizard. Oh, it's oh, hi. It's Willie B. Playing Fi. All right. Um, against Fi, I don't think we actually change anything here. Um, we might actually play Wounded Bull here. Might be better than. I don't actually know how often he's gonna arsenal things. Uh, I would like to go second. Um. I feel like Wounded Bull might be better than CNC. It's pretty close. Um, hmm. I think Wounded Bull is probably better than E Strike in this matchup. Because. It's just a little bit more damage. I don't think I'm ever going to be playing E-Strike. Uh, just vanilla against him. Hmm, but this blocks with three guaranteed. Hmm. I guess we'll just stick with the default configuration for now. Um, we actually might go down one Iron Song response. I... I if this is a card that could get clunky in multiples. And we'll add in a Wounded Bull. Okay, this looks good. Um, we'll run the fridge. Yeah, you're in Europe. Nice, nice, nice. Staying up late to watch the stream. We, I appreciate that. Perfect timing. Just finished watching the replay of your last live stream. Wow. Welcome. You got to catch me live. Nice. Um, I was uh, playing Bolton yesterday, and I was playing Dorinthia two days ago. All right, here we go. M-O-M -M Emberblade. With armor. Okay. We got these new sleeves, card guy sleeves. If you guys are a Patreon, you can use these. Uh, you just have to enable that in the menu. I think these look very nice. Okay, belittle, revealing ancestral empowerment. Of note, this can only target ninja attacks, so I can just block this easily. Um, tutor to blue minimalism, fine. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to block with all these cards. Uh, so the least valuable card here is actually the Twinning Blade. Actually, the least valuable card here is the Con Command Conquer. Um, the Twinning Blade is... Gives us a guarantee... guarantee uh, he might just end his turn here, that's the thing. So... Although I don't think so. I mean, we're blocking with these two cards, so... Phoenix Flame for... Oh, this is from hand. Okay. So, yeah, he, he might actually end his turn here. He pitched a red, so I do want to filter this card, so I'm going to block here. And very likely Arsenal pass here. Or not, okay. Uh, here, the Supremacy is more valuable, so I'll block the Valor. I don't think he was actually going to swing his Ember Blade until um, I blocked there, I think. This is, I mean, this is more filtering for me, so. Alright, here we're just taking one. Or taking, oh, there's two, this is two, huh? Oh, I missed blocked here then. Well, we're taking two. 
I forgot he had a blue in hand there. Gotta wake up, Josh. Can't be making mistakes against Fi. Okay, we'll see what we get. Oh, this is an excellent hand. Very, very nice hand. Alright. So oh, I took two damage I wasn't supposed to take there. We'll see if that comes back to haunt me. I don't have the resources. I, I want a supremacy on a five card hand, not a not a four card hand. And I want to combine supremacy with Singing Steel Blade generally. Uh, no blocks. Okay, fine. Okay, so he didn't block that attack. Um, giving his armor all blocks for two. Uh, pitching this to Bracers doesn't do anything. It's very, very likely he doesn't block anything I do. The whole game. Until he's about to die. This supremacy is actually extremely important right now. I mean, he still has armor. That's the thing. I mean, I... The ar I it would get my attack to 7, right? But he could, like, go... Two blocks, two blocks, and then a sink below. I, I, I need to get a read on his deck. And this is why we cut one of the Iron Song responses because this guy's very, very unlikely to block. Yeah, the supremacy would get him to block. That's true, but generally, I like to play five card hands. Okay, this hand is not very good, but it can be fixed with Courage. So I can go uh, Spoils of War, Supremacy, Swing, that's for seven. Pitching the twinning, uh, pitching the Singing Seal Blade. Uh, if he overblocks, I just E-Strike him. So here we just have to figure out a way to deny mass with our armor. This is somewhat threatening. Actually, no, it's not. It's the first chain link. Never mind. Yep, we knew he had Ancestral Empowerment. That might have been a bad play, yeah. I mean, this, this, I'm not so sure how quick his deck is. I need to kind of figure out how fast his deck is. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to use our Courage Blade Hold here. Okay. Luckily, we're less life than him. Okay, fridge time. Okay, it doesn't matter what he does here. I don't care.
This game's gonna be really, really, really quick, so. All right, Courage, Supremacy, Spoils of War, pitching this. If he overblocks, I E-strike him for seven. Kinda wish I had a blue here, but whatever. Yeah, if I drew a red, that would have been pretty bad. Which I was going to, I think. I drew the Spoils of War, I think. Alright, you gonna no-block this too? The beautiful thing about this is that I can <laughs> I can actually e strike in the middle of this if I draw something nice. If he doesn't block this, I'll probably e strike in the middle of my combat chain. issue here is that if he wants, he can actually stop my second attack with just armor. Just eight? Very suspicious. Very, very suspicious. Um, I don't think Phi really runs D-Reacts, but if he had a D-React here, that'd be really bad for me. And this, normally you don't block even like this. Unless you have it. I think the higher EV play is just to play this. Because if I didn't have a counter on this, I actually might not. But Alright, let's see if he has a D-React. Decent chance he does. Yep. So, in general, when people block Xaxes, especially on an aggro deck, they generally have a D-React. But we have to get this out of the way anyways. Okay, so we're just going to arsenal this. Your list has three sinks. Yeah, it's very normal. Snatch. Very good one card hand here. Okay, um, this hand needs a pump. So we can E strike, sink this, and then CNC. Well, if he draws, we, we can still CNC, so. E strike, CNC, Arsenal the Supremacy sounds good. Or we can just block this. Nah, we just have to let this hit, let him Arsenal. E strike, sink, and then pitch for Command and Conquer, Arsenal the Supremacy. Very, 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 very likely he Arsenals what he gets. Like, even if it's a blue, he probably still puts it in there. Okay, so we're going to E-Strike. I'm going to put the Twinning Blade on the bottom. Go again. Right now, I'm. Uh, he's winning right now, I'd say. We're gonna have to actually get a little lucky here to win this. You don't need many D-Reacts against Dory. You just need them at the right time. This is why I like to play Dorinthy a bit slower. Because I get to figure out their deck composition. 
Unfortunately, in this matchup, you just have to go with your hand. Like, this is only turn four, and we're already, like, half-life. So, given that he doesn't have one block on any of his armor, he basically has to give me, like, armor plus two cards. Looks like he's just going to take it. So, I'm guessing this is not a very good card. Oh, Brand with Cyndaclaw. That's actually pretty good. Hitting that's pretty big. Okay. Okay, this is not a good hand. This is actually a pretty awful hand. Alright, we're just blocking this turn. Uh, if we can hold on to Glint, we'll hold on to Glint but it's low priority. These two cards are getting blocked with first. Art of War, pitching a blue, sure. I haven't seen a list that uses... Doesn't he have two Phoenix Flames? He had one at the start of the... He had one in the graveyard, right? And then one in his hand? And he played it on... I don't know where... What the hell is going on? He started the game with one in his graveyard. And he played one on turn one. Why are there... Why is there not two in here? That's weird. Okay. Uh, what did he... Mode he chose? He chose... Go again, banish draw two. Okay, so E strike draw. Okay. Alright, so. Uh, we will throw the Warriors Valley at this. That's very weird. Sure. In a row to hit. So he's already messed up his... MOM. Because this did not hit. So it actually doesn't matter if he... Yeah. Okay, so this hand's bad, so... There's actually an argument to... So if I if I uh, supremacy swing and then glint it and draw a one cost pump, I actually get around it. If I draw twinning blade, I get around it. If I draw singing steel blade, I get around it. That's like a. So I have one. Well, the twinning blade is definitely at the bottom of the deck. So if I draw out for blood, stroke of foresight. That's not a very high chance. Oh, he put the second flame on bottom to play an E-Strike? Okay. I see. Huh. So I'm thinking about if I take this, do I just... It's risky to just take this. It, it's more high roll If If I knew it was on top of my deck, I could make this play here. Hmm. But he might actually overblock my attack anyways. All right, well, let's just let's take the conservative route. Okay, let's take the very conservative route here. Okay, life totals are even, but he's attacking into me, and he has armor. So I think he's still winning right now. If 
That Art of War turn was not very good from him. Good for me. fact that he has to think about the, yeah okay so that this generally indicates his hand if if i'm if i don't know how experienced he is at phi if he's experienced at phi and it took him that long to block he has a middling hand or he was just checking if he can use all his cards but generally you can use all your cards as five if you really want to sure these bolsters are super important we're not going to break them until we really need to oh this is a great hand okay so this is what this is the hand we're going with. This is a very good hand. Okay, so unfortunately we only have two block left, so I he's probably gonna get a mass trigger this turn. Okay, he, he has a bunch of reds, it seems. So he pitched a red. So here, I, if I was him, I probably would have blocked some of these cards. I mean, this is not a great turn from him. I mean, if he gets to draw a card, this could be very bad, actually. I might give him a card to stop Mask. Because I, I have three resources here. But the, the play is to... I'm actually missing resources. Well, I need to draw a yellow off Glint to use both of these. All right, let's just see what he does. He already used two snatches, so it's very unlikely there's more snatches coming at the end here. And it looks like he's, he's really low on resources. Okay, so... So I think we throw the armor at this and just move on with life. Hit, hit, hit. Of note, this is not a draconic ninja attack action, so I can't even ancestral this, but I guess this does play around that. The arsenal is this card that might be a D react. Please not snatch. He could snatch snapdragons if it is snatch. Okay, he closed the combat chain. Perfect. Okay. I think we're okay, guys. Unfortunately, there's only one route here. We have to go through him. We can't go around. So if he over blocks here, we might not actually get through. So ideally here, Singing Seal Blade, grab Glint, pump, pump. He may not give me reprise here, though. If he doesn't give me reprise, we just have to blow bolters. We use this uh, before singing. If we get reprise, we'll stroke. We'll try to get a. No, that's not correct. We'll singing steel blade first. Shuffle our deck. Stroke. Try to put a blue on top. Glint. Try to draw that blue. Or we could set up. Or we could glint and then stroke to set up the supremacy draw. Okay. A little bit of thought from my opponent here. This is one of the most important blocks of the game. 
Any peeps want to try out Draft from Talishar and come join the game? The public game is public. Sounds fun. I just heard that that uh, feature was like added today, so that seems seems cool. Surely this can't just be a block for two. This indicates he has another blue in hand. Okay. So we can get through this. Uh, singing Steel Blade, grabbing Glint. Glint has to be a yellow or blue, though. So there's... This is unfortunate. Um, if we do it that way, we're risking. If we so if we just pitch the singing steel blade, play these two. We go to eleven. We get in for one. So that loses to a D react. But well, both of these play lines lose to a D react. But. Singing Steel Blade into Glint, hoping that this is a yellow or blue on top. It means I saved my Refraction Bolters. I mean... My deck composition is like... 8 plus... 15, 20... 20, so about half chance. Ugh... Half chance, let's see. Half chance to draw what I need. I think the safer play is just to play both of these. Yeah, let's let's just do that. But we have to blow our bolters. Which means we won't have it for later, which might be bad. Tough decision. Um, grab Glint and just go for it. Glint might grab us a Twinning Blade, which actually works as well. All right, let's let's take the slightly more risky play here because I think we're behind right now. We need to draw yellow or blue, or we don't get through here. Okay. Um, that'll do it. <laughs> Never punished. Okay, what do we want to put on top? I, I mean, do we want this on top or bottom? Let's see. So we're going to go to zero resources. So a blue allows us to 
bracers and attack again. So we do want this on top. We want to draw this. This, this chance is getting giant. Looks like your draft's gonna fire, nice. <laughs> no reactions, okay. an on hit draw on hit counter just like the thumbnail says good card to put in there all right let's stick this in our soul it's not too bad hmm this hand's not very good uh, we might just see and see depending on what he's got. We're definitely blocking with some of these cards, though. Our turn's very weak if we... If I block with CNC, I'm committed to Wars, Valoring, and this. So I want to block this, I think, and then take the Ember Blade, so I'm lower, and then I can block. Now, if I take this, I get I'm already lower, so then I can block Ember Blade with this. Then I'm probably wasting a card, but then I actually could um, pitch these to Fendel's Fighting Spirit, which is actually not too bad. Arsenal the Warriors Valor. I have still Bolters. I don't really need the Valor. That's the thing. This this hand's not good though. I think we take this drop below him. And then block with Fendel's Fighting Spirit on his Ember Blade. Oh, this still counts as a hit. Is that bad? That might be bad. If this is a zero cost, we... Hmm. Okay. Just have to do it like this. Okay, so this is not the final chain link. Um, so... I block like this, and just Warrior's Valor swing. Force him to block this plus two cards. I think that's the correct play. Have, has he hit three or more times this turn? He has not. So I think I just throw the... CNC in front of this. Warriors Valor Swing. That's not very threatening, though. The Fendel's Fighting Spirit is actually more threatening. Because this is 7, but I don't have resources to go again. This is 7 gain of life, so it's actually worth more. If I block with CNC... Oh, uh, then, I, then I don't have an arsenal. I think that's fine. He'll be really low if he wants to keep his hand. It's more... It's cheaper resources to just... Play Warriors Valley Swing. And I might keep my counter. This also could be Glint. So I could draw the resources to play it. Okay.
He actually doesn't die to anything here. So if he doesn't block here, that's actually... If he's good, he's not going to block this. That's his best chance for victory here. Because I have no more armor, I can't stop mass triggers very easily. And he still has snapdragons. All right, he he should actually throw his furnace in front of it, go to one. That's what he should do. Let's see if he finds it. Launch a seven and a bot. You don't have an eighth. This is where knowing the warrior card pool is extremely important. If you're not very familiar with the warrior card pool, you're actually freaking out here. But if a, a calm, rational person looked at this and they knew the warrior card pool, they would just block with the furnace and move on. Oh, he has nine life. What am I talking about? He doesn't even need to block with the furnace. I was looking at the wrong life total. Okay, he wants the... Okay, he should not be blocked with Mask yet. There's no need to. So he has an extra blue. This is what it's telling me. You're just gonna draft and drop. <laughs> Well, like, half the purpose of draft is to draft, right? Not actually play the games out. This block makes no sense at all. You let me keep my counter, you lose your mask, and you have higher life than me. This is a very, very bad block, Will, if you're watching this back. Like, there's no way you get me low enough with three cards. This is the winning combination here. Um, so four into three, into this, into one. And this must be a zero cost. There's incentive to block this, but I don't have a good hand to block. I don't have armor as well, so. Um, actually, all we need to do is hold overpower and out for blood. We actually want to use our bolters ASAP. So uh, we'll let this hit, but we're going to probably block something later with these. We, we really want to know what this card is, but he's probably not going to tell us until after the Ember Blade. So we're already going to have to burn a card. I actually died a razor here, don't I? Hmm. He hasn't shown that he's playing razor, though. Taking two extra damage at the beginning of the game is coming back to bite me. Zero cost as I predicted. Okay, so I have to block here. What do I block with? Uh, 
uh, block with the... I mean, I'm blocking with the Twinning Blade and I'm blocking the Ember Blade, so I'm going to one here, basically. See, if I had a little bit more life, I would uh, be better off here. This actually isn't a route to victory. The route to victory is play this. Make him block Twinning Blade. Swing, swing. So I block this. Take one. I have to give him two cards. That's actually... Okay, so I have to give him two cards. So I have to play with two cards. Okay, we're just blocking the yellows here. This is actually very tough here. I think he can just block seven, and that already puts us on a pretty pretty tough spot. This all comes back to turn one. I took two damage unnecessarily. It's a little bit hard to keep track of of things online. Clutch D react. is lethal so he has to give me another card you see this game comes down to one or two points of damage oftentimes as warrior look at how close this is he has to give me a card now and from here he probably loses <laughs> look at how close this is a fourth dragon is wheeling uh oh that sounds like my gnats pod this card doesn't block that's an art of war he could swing his sword at least. He gets one card out of my hand, but I have two counters on Dawnblade. So as long as his hand is not a complete brick, we're good. Okay. Um, glistening Steel Blade. We don't even need the pump. We just Glistening Steel Blade attack and then Fendel's Fighting Spirit to finish. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we're good. We block the out for Blade. Your kingdom for a three block. Uh, that's the play, right? Glistening Steel Blade swing. He has to overblock. Fendel's Fighting Spirit gets him. Our chonk attack is going to kill him. This matchup shouldn't be close, though. You are correct. I've, I've lost a lot of my power to improve my Icelander and Ulden matchup. I'm, I sacrificed a lot of things to add these cards in. The only way he survives here is if he five blocks this and he has two, three blocks in hand. Okay. If he has two, three blocks in hand, he goes to one here. But I'm going back up to two. No Iron Song Determination, sad. I mean, the matchups... The Oldham matchup is the only matchup I would need it in, and I'd rather have chunky attacks against Oldham. 
Like, the my gameplay against Oldham is to like, work his life total down. GG, Willy. Um, is to work the life totals down against Oldham. And then kill him with an attack react when I know he has no D reacts. If you want an example of that, I played against my teammate Nathan Crawford two days ago. It was the final match of the evening. It's a very, very long game, but it showcases what this deck does. Okay. Another example of why I play Skullcap instead of Crown of Providence. Okay, that's another uh, win for Chonk Thea. Six and two now. Get a three block on that turn, you broke bolters, I think I get you. Definitely could be. Uh, any changes since the last time or the same list? Uh, I'm just running the same list until I'm... So I, I've thought about uh, cutting a few cards in particular. Um, an Iron Song response. A Sharpened Steel. Even a Glistening Steel Blade may not be as, as crazy as that sounds. I'm not... The more and more and more I play, the less and less and less I like this card. Um, but yeah, it's same list. All right, let's play some more. Icelander, perfect. Exactly what I want to face. Time to test. Okay, uh, so against them, I bring in all my chonky attacks, my blues, my oasis. Uh, I don't need a remembrance. All right, we cut all of the red pre-combat stuff. So, spoils of war. Warrior's Valor, Sharpened Steel, um, still have two extras, uh, we don't need Twinning Blades either, but they're yellow. Might even remove, I guess we keep the Supremacy, but, hmm. We don't need our twinning blades against them. What card are you liking less? I'm liking glistening steel blade less, as as blasphemous as that sounds. Uh, what would you play instead of Heart of Fendel? Because I have everything for this deck but the gem. Um, I mean, th this is a complete flex spot. If you want to add a, any blue three block, will do. Uh, or you could get fancy and add a pet card. One of my favorite pet cards is a Red Biting Blade. Uh, any thoughts on Razor Reflex since it kind of works on both ends of the attack setup? Or is Block too bad? Uh, we don't need that many attack reacts. Um, yeah, so we're not running our Twinning Blades. We just have to keep that in mind, but I don't think that matters. We have no Warriors Valor, no Sharpened Steel, no Spoils of War. Do we even need the Iron Song response? I guess we'd rather have one Twinning Blade instead of the Iron Song response. We're never playing the Iron Song response. I guess we could. It's a zero cost. We can keep it in. Okay. All right. Time to test another game against Icelander. Um, 
Okay, so Razor Reflex, because it blocks for two and we don't need so many um, attack reacts, I would just not have that. Uh, I love the idea of glistening, but the effect it has in most games is to force an overblock, which would be the right move from the opponent anyways. That's correct, yeah. The more and more and more I play with that card, it's like a win more card, and it's it's good in the racing matchups, but other than that, it's not very good. I play Potion and Strength instead. That, yeah, Potion and Strength works. CNC into Icelander. I just want all the chunky attacks I can get. I'm bringing it, I'm playing CNC, E-Strike, Fendel's Fighting Spirit, Bronhide, and Wounded Bull. I, I'm just throwing 15 giant attacks into them. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hit, it still does six damage. Okay, uh, what did he do? Played Heart of, he's playing Heart of Ice. I guess for, for the block. Aether Ice Vein fusing with Amulet of Ice. Okay. Uh, we're going to throw our Glistening back into the deck. We don't want that. Sure, we'll pay two. Maybe keeping this was actually better. I don't know. Okay, so we actually have to pitch that correctly in this deck. Uh, I mean, this late game... I guess I'd rather have my... We'll go blue, yellow, blue. Uh-oh. This hand's awful. Uh, we can... So, we're not gonna put Supremacies into the Arsenal, as weird as that sounds. We're gonna put our attacks in Arsenal. Alright, we're gonna E-Strike... Sink one of these. We're gonna E-Strike for seven. Amulet of Ice from Arsenal. Sure, I get a Frostbite. Sure. So this combination means I can't... I guess I have to Tunic if he hard abides this. This guy's... Holy crap, he's playing a lot of cards. I just realized. 72? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Okay, I'll, I'll get a count after this. How can he have this many cards? 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? How is that possible? 71, 74, 70, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He has 82 cards? Am I missing something? I mean, I I don't want to play against somebody without a legal deck. You guys ever run it run into the situation on Telashar where somebody has a very, very, very large deck for some reason? 
Okay, he DC'd. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what the hell was that? I, I, I don't, uh, my math is not wrong, right? 71, 74, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? 70, he has 82 cards, minimum. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I'm glad he disconnected because I actually, I don't want to play against illegal decks. I think they just check to make sure your deck is um, has no banned cards, but they don't check the limit, maybe? I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a primitive browser game, yeah. Okay. Fine. Alright. Okay. For those of you just joining us, we're testing this list here. Uh, they're importing from other websites, I see. Oh, you've seen under 60 before as well, huh? Okay. I mean, it's a little sus that as soon as I called him out on it, he didn't respond and just left. He's like, oh shit, I got caught. Because one of the win conditions for that deck is actually um, to fatigue them, so him having 77 cards in the main deck is an issue. Okay, Jeremiah, we're gonna play our fridge. We're gonna bring in our poppers. And we're gonna take out... Hmm. What do we take out here? I guess we don't need Iron Song response, right? We don't need three of them. We probably don't even need an overpower. We're just cleaning up dragons most of the time, I think. E Strike is probably taken out because it's not six power. Um. What else should I cut, guys? Do I even need my overpowering route? I don't know. I guess maybe we just run it at 62. I don't even think they are... If there are cards from outside, it's... Yeah, I've, I've seen some really buggy things. Okay, so the guy is making me go first. Um, I guess we just put the glistening into Arsenal. We might get some damage. And if I swing with Warrior's Valley, it's just going to 9 block. If I pitch the Warrior's Valor and swing, he might not. And he'll probably still 6 block. There's no good way to do it. Alright, we're just gonna get some cards out of his deck, I guess. Goliath Gauntlet and Snapdragons. Very interesting. That means he's not running footsteps. Okay. Are you kidding me? What? He 
Why would you not block on the first turn? What is going on? Okay, so I'm thinking now to racer swing. Because that'll leave me one float for this. Alright, let's do it. This is very weird. Are you gonna abandon Justin again, Willie? His hand has to be off the charts good. Or he just DC'd. Okay. You know what? We need to create compet I think when I press play on Talishar, it makes a CC game. It doesn't make a competitive CC game. So let's let's do this seriously. I want serious players. Uh, and okay, let's just go only you have to have an account to play against me. Okay, here we go. We should get some quality games now. You can click on the little activation gem on Bulger's if you don't have to ask you every time. Good. I, I'll do that. Thanks for the tip. Serious faces on, boys. Okay, we got we got a serious boy here. Okay, Kano. Okay. So against Kano, I just bring my, my respite and my e and my extra blues. Uh, this is not a matchup where I send big attacks at them, I think. Is Justin, I just left your stream. Uh, okay. Hi, Justin. Um, yeah, so... So against Icelander, I want to send chunky attacks. Against Kano, I never really want to go down to no cards in hand. So... That means we're playing very straightforward here. That means... That means... <laughs> As sad as it sounds, we're not we're not playing very many chunky attacks. Um, yep, I think this is how we run it. Okay, put it in the name of the game, Josh. Ah, that also works. Okay, Christian ain't lying. Um, yeah. Alright, let's run like this. Maybe too a little risky, but we'll make it work. I actually think I want courage, actually, now that I think about it. I like this man's sleeves. You've cut the Ancestral through Rabble and cut a Red Soaring for a second Yellow Bullet. Okay. Alright. Uh, Pitch Voltic Bolt, Crucible, Aether Dart, Snapback. Okay, time to block a lot. Okay, so... We're going to Warriors Valor next turn if possible, so let's start blocking. I think the Glistening should go to the bottom too. Eh, it's actually not too bad, but we got to set it up. Okay, let's, let's start blocking. So he missed out on the damage there. Okay, uh, we could... Glissy Steel Blade, Dawn Blade, E-Strike him if he overblocks. We could E-Strike to start. 
and like sync the glistening and then warriors valor into swing i think glistening into e strike is a better play so let's do that Yellow belittle and Phi. I've seen people use a lot of belittle. Like six copies of it. Wow. No. No fear. Okay. That is uh, very brave. But it's actually going to work for him. So that. Maybe he had a D react. Maybe he's just brave. Uh, let's... Do we want a random card, or do we want 7 damage? Let's go with the damage. strike sync valor for go again play pot and arsenal glistening that was actually probably a better play um setting up a pot is quite nice against kano i do like that line uh okay so i'm just getting jeez crucible fork lightning how is this dealing this much damage Oh, stir. Okay, that, I didn't see it. Okay, stir. Well, that's a lot of damage. Uh, are we actually blocking this? So... We could Supremacy into Swing. And then play Overpower. That costs five. This is five here. Blow our bolters. I guess we're not taking... I guess we're just... We're gonna take this, I guess. Huge chunk of damage. Yellow Belittle helps against ice, but otherwise it sits at the sideboard. Yep. Sounds reasonable. Let's see if Kano is ready for this action. May not be. I mean, if he overblocks, I just put overpower in the arsenal. I'll have Tunic next turn. I mean, he has to majorly overblock this. He may not even have 11 block in his hand. Isn't Fork Lightning... God, this is a sketchy attack. Uh, sure. Alright, we blow bolters. We can actually glistening steel blade. <laughs> I guess we do that for the extra counter. Encourages him to really makes him like, hey, you gotta block this, come on. I don't have enough resources. Never mind. Okay, it's just swing and then play over player. He might block. I guess if he's not blocking the first one, he's not blocking the second one. All 
Alright, so he's just gonna take nine here, go to nine, basically. I'm probably gonna take a round of damage down into the teens, maybe. The question is whether I can get him within lethal. Expected no blocks. So there actually was some. Nah, it's still better just to do it this way. Okay, do I want the supremacy in Arsenal? Probably do, right? Because I'm guaranteed a yellow. Oh, this is an amazing hand. Holy shit. Okay, if he doesn't Aether Flare me, then I'm probably just gonna take this. Stir Crucible Forked again. Aether Spindle. Okay, that's fine. So he's gonna get to Op 8. But I don't think he could kill me even if he Ops 8. Because this, this, this is actually a Death Blow hand. Games against Kano go really, really, really fast. That's actually why I think Courage instead of Tunic was actually correct. I actually... I autopiloted to Tunic because I was against a wizard, but I think Courage is better. There's also a chance that he plays Nourishing Emptiness, so he doesn't... Like, that would block it. I mean, if you opt eight, so you get to draw off the four cards you want, you get to put the top two cards exactly what you want, and you get to send two to the bottom. So even if you can block, you can, you're canoing twice, I don't see how you deal 19 damage. I'll let him figure it out. He's either dead or I'm dead. That's the beautiful thing about playing against Kano. I don't have I don't have to do anything. I just swing Domblade and say Am I dead? You guys have a favorite nut? This is my favorite nut. It's pistachios. I've been nomming on them the last two days. This is a pretty small bag, but I'm like halfway through them. Opting 8 is a... always takes wizards a long time to do. You like almonds? Almonds aren't bad. Why well, I like pistachios, especially the, the ones that aren't pre-shelled. Is, well, first of all, it's cheaper. <laughs> Second of all, you work for, like, this little morsel of food. Y you eat less. <laughs> bottom, bottom, bottom. Top, 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 top. Okay, so he's going to draw the exact four cards he wants. He's going to put 
the right card that he wants on top. Sure. Do I double supremacy here? <laughs> Is that the play? Because then I can... Um, if I double supremacy... I can... No, that's not correct. Single supremacy here might actually be correct. Although I don't think I need to hold... I can... Oh, if you... In response, I can always um, pitch this, I think. How much danger am I in right now? That's the question. So the top card, what would he put on the top? He could put a Tome on top, so he draws more cards. He could put a Blazing on top. He could... Hmm. Well, Double Supremacy here would go... Would use all my resources, and I'd have to pitch glistening to Singing Steel Blade, grab a glint. I actually could grab Route as well, but that su feels super dangerous. But this does hold more resources back. Like, if I pump this. to eight and swing. He actually doesn't have to block. Think I'm supposed to glistening here? No. The threat of me dying is too high right now. I might just go with a single supremacy. How do you change the background? Uh, You click here. Go to dark mode. So, if I... I have to give this go again. Or I have to make him block. I think I just have to play the Glistening. My original plan was play Glistening, play Supremacy Swing. Force him to act immediately then. I could... Because I don't have to sing Steel Blade the first attack. Okay. The boys are out tonight. Willie B, how are you, sir? Good evening, Josh. Hello. All right. No blocks. Okay. I get to draw a card. Okay, this is the correct way to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. So he gets his perfect card off the top. Blazing Aether, okay. Alright, time to block all the damage I can then. <laughs> I can block four, which is not too bad. Yeah. I I felt like I had to play Glistening because I I've kind of picked up on how he plays. He doesn't want to block. <laughs> so if if I didn't play uh Oh, it's my priority, sorry. So this is a blind Kano. So he probably has a bunch of blues in hand. He didn't banish it immediately, which is... Okay, reverberate. Okay, that's fine. 
Yeah, this just doesn't do anything. That's actually one of the worst cards you could get. Randomly clicked on a Kano game to spectate on Talishar and I see that the Dory King himself is in the game. Then come to find out he's streaming as well. Let's go. There you go. Very nice, very nice. Nice to have you here. Oh, it's waiting on me again. Sorry. I have no reactions. Just try to kill me, sir. <laughs> Kano again. Okay, so he he put three blues into his hand. Okay, sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Found another blazing aether, but he still needs damage. He has no damage right now. He has two blazing aethers, but no damage. Blind. Uh, he can't even blind Kano here, right? It has to be a zero cost, like it has to be a zap. <laughs> Literally. So he's. Okay, that's good. Okay, so he's. Oh, that's. Oh, man, he got super freaking lucky there. Tunic, Aether Flare, Blazing, Blazing. I don't know if I'm dead, but we'll find out. Is that enough? <laughs> I will find out soon, I guess. So I'll take Tunic Energy as well. No. Because I'll block two of this, so it'll be two, and then two plus two, and then four plus two. So that's 12. Okay. I think. He didn't have enough energy, yeah. Oh, he can Metacarp is this. Okay. So it's going to be three. And then three plus three. Oh, it's, I think he has 18 damage. I think this is 18. It's Aether Flare into Blazing Blazing, right? So... Oh, if I take it all, it's 18. Okay. Normally, I have the wizards do the math for me. Oh, it's only for three? He didn't metacarpus it? That's weird. Okay, I, I guess, sure. You gave it a good try. WTF with the supremacy. They like to show up. Oh. It's it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. If if it dealt damage, if the first thing dealt damage, then the first blazing aether would deal more. Swing, swing. Goodbye, Mister Kano. He had no he had no resources, but Metacarp was still triggers. Yeah, I think I think I saw he only had tunic, so he had to tunic to play the Aether Flare. All right, good game, good game. You see how quick Kano games are? Like, <laughs> I think definitely Courage is better here. Okay, and with that, we go to seven and two.
Okay. So, for those of you just joining us, we're playing this list here. The Chonky deck. Using Giant Attacks, Wounded Bull, Barraging Bronhide, Fennel's Fighting Spirit, E-Strike, CNC. We've also decided to host our own games using uh, competitive CC and making them have to have a an account. So we actually get, you know, in theory, we get better opponents, right? Oh, shit. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oops. What? That's weird. Why did it give me the Bravo starter deck? That didn't make sense. Drinthia. There we go. Okay. I don't think that cannon was particularly good. Oh, he wouldn't like to hear that. That was Justin Graham. He he really loves playing Kano. Um, one thing I do did find odd is he plays um Pork Lightning. I don't know if that's main a mainstay of Kano, but I haven't seen that in a while. Put a name like Worlds Testing. Um, sure, let's do that. So should I still restrict it? <laughs> Robo CC started deck the world. No, thank you. All right, putting uh, world's testing should get us a strong opponent, right? Uh oh, this is not good. We have zero D reacts in our deck. Very, very, very sad. All right, against uh, Bravo, I guess we're just running the fridge. Uh, we will go first because we don't want Bravo to go first. Um, I'm not actually sure what to do here. I mean, I could just run this like uh, old him and just bring everything in except the Oasis. I'm not actually sure if that's right or wrong. He's almost certainly not playing the Bravo starter. Um, I don't think... Hmm... We'll try it like this. We'll see. Hopefully he doesn't give too many things dominate so we can actually, like, you know, block a bit. We'll kind of work the life totals down, and then we'll go for a big... big. We'll, we'll play this basically like he's old. All right. Forked is good in the matchup. I don't know about the crown of providence he had though. I think they're good players without registering. Definitely could be. Um. All right, e pot, pass. <laughs> I guess we're arsling the C and C probably as well. Because we're not going to use our warrior cards until the late game. All right, with this hand, we can just block with every card here. Oasis is a pseudo D react. Then I'd have to run Tunic. I think I'm just gonna try to um, walk as much as I can, throw some big attacks at him, get him low, and then try to go for a big turn once he's low. Tech plating, sure. Um, 
Macho Grande. Unfortunately, this has. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this has uh, dominate. Okay, so we block with the out for blood, and then we just sharpen steel warriors valor swing. I guess we're guaranteed more value if we sharpen steel out for blood. But this threatens that we would blow our e pot to continue. What do you guys think? Do I block with the Alpha Blood or block with the Warriors Valor? This is more likely to get damage in. This forces him to block. Or I pop the E-Pot and hit him again. Hmm. Yeah, it's unmovable. Uh-oh. We'll go with the Warriors Valor. I haven't finished the first video yet. What heroes were the Dory losses to? Uh, Briar, that got quite uh, quite lucky with a giant Force of Nature turn uh, with double channel. Uh, and I lost to... Um, Lexi, I want to say once. I think I went 1 1 against Lexi. No, no, no. I, I beat Lexi. I lost to Kano. I went 1 1 with Kano. All right, nine on hit, go again. Threatening to pop my E-Pot if he uh, doesn't block this. The best uh, matches from day one were the final two matches against Icelander and Oldham. Please block nine. Please block nine. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Sure. That's exactly what I wanted. Why is it not passing? What's going on? Uh, this turn, we're going to Glistening Steel Blade, play the E-Pot. We could CNC also if he overblocks. Let's see. So we're going to Glistening, pitch a Iron Song response, swing. Okay, three with go again on hit, get a counter, so he's probably going to block this. And he hasn't seen that I'm playing weird attacks yet. So he might think I'm on a more traditional list, so I have more pumps. Just three. Just three means he has a D-react. Which means I do want to see and see. Just three. I'm very surprised. Okay. So he has a D-React, so we're going to CNC him. I'm going to put the E-Pot in the arsenal.
do some more setup. Hey man, he says. Does he have a lot of DRX? I had a pummel in his arsenal, okay. Interesting. All right, we got our wounded bull. This is good. So hopefully we can take a little bit of damage here while blocking. Okay. Um. Unfortunately, we can't do that, huh? So just throw two cards to block. Oh, we're gonna take one. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Hopefully he pummels this, so we actually drop below him. Okay, a little bit of a block from him. Sure, we'll take it. Uh-oh, dominate. Okay, that's fine. That's not too bad. Okay, so... We block with our hit and run, and we just fend those fighting spirit back. Kind of unfortunate. If we went hit and run into swing, we'd have two resources left we could command and conquer. Then that means we're blocking with this, which is not good. All right, we're just going to save the CNC for next turn, I guess. This is unfortunate that. Bravo has dominate, Oldham doesn't, so he can actually forcefully walk the life totals down. At least we get a two card eight here, which is pretty good. Can't complain about two card eight. Seven heal one, pretty good. Blessing, sure. Blessing into hammer, right? Oh, double blessing, okay. Oh, he undid his turn, okay. Okay, um, <clears throat> do I block for six, or do I... So I kind of want to keep the route in my deck. I only have one copy of it, so I think E-Strike, sync that with Go Again, and then Command and Conquer. I think we have to just take this. Uh... 
I would, if this was a, a different card, I would actually just block there. But we really want the route in our deck. So E strike into CNC. Not something you see every day from Dorinthia. No blocks, so it means he likes his hand. Great. I mean, CNC is gonna. Okay. Oh, from Arsenal as well. well. That sucks. So now we just four carded for 11. Meh. Unfortunate. Oh well. Choke slam, visage, crippling crush was revealed. So he gained two life, I think. Is that correct? Cost three or greater. Let's see. So is X3 count as uh, three or greater? So he gained three health. So imposing visage counts as a uh, greater than three. Played blessing, pitched unmovable. So now he has two unmovables in his deck right now. Tech plating, hammer is just gonna get a, du a double block here from us. Why is taking six to deal 11 better than take zero attack for seven? Uh, because I thought the CNC was going to hit something good. Uh, math moment. Yeah, he, he gained three life because uh, imposing visage is uh, X3, which is greater than three. Okay, so are you swinging Dawnblade any? Of course I'm. But not now. <laughs> Even my opponent is picked up on that this is a weird deck. <laughs> like, why aren't you attacking me? What is going on? Oh, shit. Does this a dominate? No. Okay, that's really good. So we can just triple block... And then swing.
Yeah, the only reason is because I can't put Heart of Fennel into the <laughs> arsenal. If this was a different card, you know, that'd be great. We're still... He started with uh, 60 cards, I think. And I started with uh, close to 70. So we've basically had card parity so far. Okay, a brawn hide and a blue. Good. This remembrance is too early. Five go again. Um, I mean, we're just blocking with this. Are we actually going to remembrance anything? Put the fighting spirits back into our deck, I guess? Or do we want the CNCs back in our deck? I guess the, f the fighting spirits probably better. Oh no, the supremacy is better here. Yeah, we need our supremacy back in our deck. This could get pummeled here, actually. So I shouldn't block here. I should block his hammer. Because if I lose this... I could, I could just discard the Remembrance. I guess it's fine. Because I don't know that he's definitely going to hammer next. Almost certainly he will, though. Like, what else would he play for zero cost? The potion? Yeah. He's just he's just gonna hammer after this, so Yep. Alright, we're taking a lot more damage than we wanted, but we can we could start getting value from the skull cap. We're getting kinda low. Is that true? Are we gonna get another chance to use it? If I hit him and he takes it. He'll dr no, we don't need this skull cap yet. Oop. This does match up our pitch stack, but we don't really have anything good pitched anyways together. We need to use a turn to, um, to get the E-Pot out of our arsenal. Valor back on our deck. back to us kind of quickly. That's not good. There's no real way to... So we can swing glint at E-pot.
Or we just double block E pot, put re route in our arsenal, have the glint. That might be better. This is probably a heavy D react in arsenal. So there was actually some argument to putting the CNC back. I uh, never mind. That still wouldn't have worked. We're gonna need to twinning blade a route to get around him. I actually want a supremacy in arsenal more than a route. I think. Block, block, put this glint into arsenal. That's not good. I guess we're putting the route into the arsenal. Whatever. Oh, this is really good. If only this was a supremacy. <laughs> Still pretty good, though. Uh, actually, this this card doesn't have a pump with it. We actually want a supremacy more than a glistening steel blade. This card is not very good against a cure with this much armor. get pummeled, but I don't think that's a huge issue. Uh, do we still have a Twinning Blade in our deck? We do. This would guarantee it goes to the very bottom. How many glints do we have? We have all our glints. Okay, so let's guarantee that the Twinning Blade goes to the bottom. In case we need to block with one soon. Fairly conservative, um, Bravo list. We are probably behind right now, though. We're behind on life, but we do have potions out. This is a heavy D react, almost certainly. It's been there for too long. Okay, it's taken seven. Or not, okay. Okay, that's the second sink below. Oh man, this hand sucks. Uh, do we walk with two cards to send damage back? Walk with one card to send damage back? Doesn't sound very good. Give up an e pot to send damage back? That might be better. Take no damage, give up an e pot to send seven back. He's starting to close the card paired uh card the deck size right now i could keep the twinning blade in hand that's not very good to do that uh 
Um, I think we're just going to pop a D-Pot to return damage. We give up two Valors here. Uh, we'll give up a Valor and put the plate. A dunk. Sure. Not doing too hot right now. We really need a good five card hand. Having zero D reacts hasn't bit me in the ass quite yet. Very scary. I mean, this is almost certainly a red staunch right now. Walk with everything. Very bad. Okay, how do we re return the most damage here? This, this, this. Glistening Steel Blade. Do we want Glistening Steel Blade? Without Twitting Blade, it's kind of useless. That might be good enough. We don't need our go again. We have to go again from that. 
That is really tough. Do we want to draw this? Not really. I want supremacy and a buff and a blue. Oh, this is not good. I'm going to get bonked on the head again. Red pummel, most likely. But I won't die if I block this, so I guess that's okay. I get to send this back at him. Then I'm within range where Dominate kills me, so I better put this... Oh, no, not that. Oop. I'm, I actually might want to do that to get more value out of this. Because he's going to pummel me. I mean, there's no reason to... to only single block my attack. I, no, maybe this isn't pummel. Probably is, but it might not be. So now I only get one block out of my Brave Forge Bracers, probably. Courage, Swing, Dawn Blade. No, that doesn't work. Just barraging, pitching that. If he has Dominate. If he has an attack that he could dominate, he just wins here. Hopefully two card blocks us so we could live another turn. Like, Courage, Bolters, and an E-Pot represents like two and a half cards, so we're okay playing with two. He's caught up in cards. Because he's been hammering a lot. He probably thinks I'm trying to fatigue him. He still has a lot of armor. This is going to be very tough. If he just takes this and somehow I survive next turn, route is really dangerous. He's had this Arsenal card forever, though. With three Supremes in, in the deck, we really need to see them ASAP. Probably like two turns ago, but yeah. Okay, so that. <laughs> okay, this is an arsenal forever. What does that mean? Does it does that mean he drew a staunch and now he's gonna put that into arsenal? He might not have a staunch. It's turn sixteen. We're about to go to second cycle. I haven't seen it. He just has two immovables. Which he's going to see very, very, very soon, actually. Okay, we might have to go with this hand if we can. Uh-oh. We might just die here. Okay, we're not dead.
So he spoils the war, sharpens steel swing. Try to route him. Let's calculate how much resources we need. Two to attack twice. Four. Five. And we have exactly five. So we don't need a courage. Which is good. Six armor. That was definitely wrong. We saw three sinks from him. I think his hand, this hand has unmovable. I went first, and he pitched it on his first turn. So I think this his this hand has unmovable in it. Okay. Do I try to win here? We're turn sixteen. We're on the second cycle, but he some some of his turns he ended with cards in hand. So do I just try to win here? So he he pitched unmovable turn one. His first turn. I went first. I hit him. No, I didn't do anything on my turn one. So he didn't get to filter. And there's a few times he didn't use his whole hand. So he may not be quite to a second cycle. It's there's a chance one of these is unmovable, but it also could be the next hand. I think I just have to take it here and hope I win. The I, I just have to go for it. Oh, he has it. Oh, and he played it before I played my... Okay. Sure. That was from Arsenal as well, so we got that. So we got back to it faster and Arsenal did it. Oh, he was drawing cards from um, Blessing of Deliverance. Ah, okay, so he was. Okay, so he had Unmovable last turn. I mean, I have to route, but n choose to... Do I route this back to his hand? I guess I do, right? Make him play it again. I mean, we have to do it. Oh, 
Oh, that's from Arsenal. Okay, never mind. Still have to do it either, either way. His next hand probably has another immovable. I remember his second or third turn, he also pitched an immovable. Sure. No. We're still in this. We still have Courage and Refraction Bolters. We're at the mercy of our deck because we shuffled with Remembrance. Yep, no reprise, you're correct. That came from Arsenal. Still still was a plus three pump. Still had to do it, I think. So if his next turn is not very good, we can... We can use these with maybe two cards in hand. Oh, uh, looks like his next turn is going to be decent. Uh-oh. Or he's going to filter a card? He did filter a card, okay. Sure. Okay, this is a good hand. This is actually a hand that can be played with uh, no energy at all. Oh no! Alright, I have to block for five here. Take one. Okay. Do I want last ditch effort in my deck? I, it doesn't matter. Um, which one I block with? I have. I still have enough resources. I still have bolters. We're still in this. I mean, I guess the last ditch effort's more valuable than the overpower. It doesn't matter. We're never gonna see our second cycle. Yep, three damage is three damage. Guess it takes some risk here, I think. I really want him to block here so I can get out for blood value here. I think this hand also has an unmovable. Maybe it's next hand? Should be coming soon. <clears throat> These warrior games against Guardian are always a grind. But just like one or two games... Artie can learn a lot. draw a heart of Fendel soon, actually. That would be nice. Heart of Fendel would be amazing. I don't think he had any no blocks in his deck. Hardest block of the whole game for him. And he only has two armor, so he can't just throw the armor in front of us. This is actually my favorite matchup in the whole game. 
Dory vs. Bravo? Blocked the choke slam, took it back. He might be trying to look. He's he's trying to see if he can hold on to this to dominate it, I think. People ask me, Crown or Crown of Providence or Skull Cap? If we win this game, this is another example of this. Tech played in Crater Fist. So he's not gonna give me reprise. No block this. He blocks for three, he dies. If somehow he blocks for five, he dies. In situations like this that I th I'm thinking about adding one shunt. <laughs> Three, six. Okay, I just put him to one, right? I gotta do it. That was Singing Steel Blade. I think he would have died here. I'm gonna get a counter. I'm gonna have to give him two cards, probably. Oh, this is pr Oh no. Oh no. We drew all reds. Oh no. I am clenched. Sure. Oh no. Ah, uh, we have to give him two cards. Ah, uh, this is bad. Uh-oh. This is really bad. Well, our deck just didn't like us at the end of the game. He's going to draw an immovable, and we're going to lose. At least this forces two cards from him, so that's nice, too. Pitch the overpower. Put the stroke into the arsenal. That's what we've got to do. This is where a good player would check for red iron songs and blue iron songs. I use all three red. I still have my blues. I have two blues. So he should block five here. Or six, I mean, depending on what his cards are. This is really, really, really unfortunate that one of these hands has an immovable in it. I mean, if he can't dominate an attack, he actually... This game goes on for a while.
my heart of Fendel's turned off too now. It's so sad. down to the wire. Yeah, I think I misplayed the last turn. Do you play shunt? Good question. Yeah, if I out for blooded put him to one, he'd have to overblock then it yeah, you're right. That was that was learning moment there. I kind of wanted the reprise, but yeah, you're right. I should have just... The thing is, he had an... Un... He, he has an unmovable in one of these turns. I guess if he played it, then it turns my Iron Song response on. I don't know. I got to hold two cards longer in my hand, so I thought maybe he really overblocks. No blocks. Unmovable. Sure. Pitching Rouse. Fine. Okay, so he has no more DBX. But he has three cards. Oh, we probably die here. This feels bad. Uh-oh. And we have a no block in our hand. Uh, this gonna Terra Center is going to get us. GG. Well played, well played, well played. Good game. Yeah, I think that was a critical turn. I actually need to watch this back. I I think you're right, though, that if I put him to one and then attacked him, he would have to, like, overblock. And then I just arsenal. By not doing that, he was at four, and then he overblocked. I don't know. I have to go watch that back. Long, long, long game. Good game. Yeah, that the I, I think my end game could have been cleaner there. Well, having no D reacts does suck. Alright, I'll be back in like uh, five minutes or so for some more games.
All right, we are back playing <clears throat> Honkinthia. In other words, these giant attacks. Um, <clears throat> so, so this deck has been doing all right. Um, there are some things that I had to, had to, like, I, I have no DBX in this deck, which makes, um, some situations kind of hard to handle. But, overall, um, the only other concession was not having enough overpowers and I guess I don't run Razor as well but other than that it still has all the key warrior cards but it's just supplementing itself with uh, 15 chonky attacks <clears throat> alright let's keep playing First or second against Oldham? Hmm. I guess first means. Oh, looks like he DC'd. Um, that's actually a good question. Um, so against Bravo, you definitely want to go first. Against Oldham. Um, less clear. I mean, your, your very first turn of the game if you're going second, is not going to be that good anyways. So it might just make more sense to go first. Try to get a potion out or something. I guess this this time in the evening there's not enough people. Europe is sleeping. Asia's waking up on Monday. If you're in the East Coast, you might be asleep yet. Even in the Central Time Zone, you might be asleep. It's almost 10 p.m. Oh, we have a Lavaya. Very interesting. Hi. Do we want to go first or second against Leviah? If they go first, what's the worst that could happen? A dominated attack? I think we want to go second against Leviah. Alright, against Leviah. What do we want to do? I mean, I feel like the block two cards, throw a big card at them strategy is kind of what they want to do, right? They kind of just want to block, fill the graveyard. Do 
Do I want eat pots in this matchup? I guess I do. They don't hurt. I think we might just run this this uh, this configuration. I don't really want any of these too badly. Moves of the Shadow Beast. Ooh. Okay, so not running scabbies means two less armor, but they have a more consistent go again on things. Okay. Sure. They're just going to end step. Okay. Um. Sharpen Seal Swing Glint if they don't block. Glint either way if they block. Draw a card. See what we can play with Singy Seal Blade. Seems reasonable. Unless they husk this, then I'm going to be very sad. Okay, so we grab Twinning Blade. Did we grab Twinning Blade? Let's glint see what we draw. That's actually good enough. <laughs> wow. Sometimes lucky. Is he gonna husk to save his arsenal? Says nice. I drew that off Glint. Can't say much about that. Okay, so he's protecting it. Sure. Unfortunately, I can't do much with this hand. Just supremacy and try to get some damage in. be worth it to bolters here. It looks like he's not a never mind, he's not blocking. I'm not gonna get reprise. All these red cards. Okay, I guess we're just a block. Blocking is the name of the game. Flush and blocks. Blood Rush Bellow from Arsenal makes sense. That was what he's protecting. Boneyard Marauder was randomly discarded.
Do I just take this so I can get lower and play that? Then I can take the next claw. I guess we should have taken it and then blocked the second one. Am I going to be able to nine block? I hope so. This is pretty good. This is more than pretty good. So he banished. Okay. I think we just go with his hand. This hand's pretty good. He doesn't block with two dead cards though, which is pretty bad. So he may actually want to block with one of these. Yeah, we technically don't need this. Red Wars Valor incoming. Interesting, he doesn't want to block. Oh, double sink below, okay.
But he's not gonna sink a card, okay. Yeah, I guess we just go grab out for blood, right? This has going in, okay. Am I just setting up, trying to maintain my counter? Is that what we're doing? Can glistening Dawn Blade. If they block, we can stroke. I think that's worth it. How, how much would he overblock? He, if he blocks seven, we're in trouble. That's the most efficient block he can do. Do we just want to maintain our counter? Dropping a 13 doesn't feel good. Because he can block this pretty easily. All he has to do is block seven and we're in trouble. So I think we're just going to block, swing, and set up a stroke. Or do we just swing with spoils and make him give us cards? I mean, this, this represents four damage attacking. Possibly more. It only represents three on defense. So I guess we just block one card. Yeah, we want to cash in these for sure, ASAP. Also, it becomes less obvious that we want to go for a big turn. Um, I guess Spoils of War technically can represent... Two plus an additional attack. So this represents six on offense. If he chooses not to block. Same with skull cap. Yep, exactly. I was debating throwing the skull cap there. But I think we're still going to be lower life than him next turn. If he takes this and then takes it again, we'll be same life. I mean, his blood debt is on right now, so he does. He's less incentivized to walk. He 
in the best case scenario, he doesn't block those. We go to even life. We have two counters. We have an arsenal. Full fridge. We can probably threaten lethal at 16 if we have the right hand. The only downside is that Levi is way less likely to overblock than other heroes. I think we put we try to get a five card hand. It's more important than the counter. So when this goes to the graveyard, it's going to get banished. It'll turn off blood debt. This is like a really good two-card hand. Okay, so what do I do back? I can block and then Fendel's Fighting Spirit. So seven, gain one. Probably the best I can do. I guess there was an argument to using the fridge now and then E strike, go again, and then this, but. Two card eight. Seven plus one, very nice. So if he takes this, he goes to 19. We're still lower. Guardian as well. Okay. Uh, is this a hand we can actually go for with? It's not quite good enough. I guess we just get value from the skull cap and then E strike him back. Kind of waiting for a supremacy and then we're gonna go. I think uh, we've only used, yeah, we've used one only and we haven't pitched one. So we only need a single blue to, to use all these. Assuming that we're going to prop courage so we can block with our armor plus a blue. Art of War from Arsenal, sure. I 
I don't think the plus one... I mean, I, I don't know how wide he intends to attack this turn. I would have gone with go again. Okay, uh, we want to take some damage so we can throw the fridge. I guess it does put CNC to a break point of seven, though. It's kind of annoying. I don't think he's playing CNC, though. Do I just block the card now in case I get intimidated? I guess I do. It's also okay to hold it. We'd have to get double intimidated, which doesn't happen often. Blocking bolters just in case we draw Twinning Blade off the Supremacy. The Live Gauntlet puts all my armor back on the chain. Okay. This is a pretty big attack here. Okay. I'm blocked for five. Take seven, go to three. I mean, this hand does have potential to get cards. If he doesn't block, how much damage am I threatening? I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, we just have to do it anyways. We're not holding an extra card anyways. You're loving this build? I'm loving this build. This is a breath of fresh air for me. this like have chains over it oh he's blocked he's blocking with it okay twinning blade please not sharpen steel is also fine Hard or die. Three for seven is pure value. I agree. Uh, we want a better arsenal card, so bottom. Give me a good arsenal card. That's a great arsenal card. Okay. Oh, we just have to hold route and a blue and we win. So we can block for seven. 
Uh oh, blood rush bellow. I think I have to give him several cards here, unfortunately. Eleven. Okay, so I have. So if I block for nine, I go to one. I mean, one and two is the same thing. Yeah, it's three cards here. I'm overthinking this. Pick two, go to one. Doesn't matter if I use the braces or not. But Bolter's still up. This is very dangerous for him. Two card block here. Iron Song response gets over that. Bolter, he has to give me more cards. And he can't just wait for Reckless Swing. Because he'll tick out his 11 blood debt. If this hits, I can even Bracer Swing. That's like six there, so. I'm sure that's Iron Song. <laughs> it could be. Unless you're watching the stream, then hello. I think that's game. Up for six is not enough. You were right. Well, Levi is going to die to her own blood debt, not to my sword. GG. Another game where... Skullcat wins and Crown of Providence would lose. Fun game. Always nice playing against uh, off the wall heroes. I think we piloted that end game pretty decently. Like, the blood debt mechanic is, like, very 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 tough for, for for her gg gg all right for those of you just joining the stream this is the deck list we're playing i called it chonkinthia chonkthia it's all about chonky attacks command and conquer east strike fennel's fighting spirit Barraging Bronhide, Wounded Bull. Work the life totals down, then go for a big Courage turn when they're low. That has been our game plan. Okay, so that puts us at 8 and 3. Not too bad. Chonky D with eight wins, baby. <laughs> that's right. Three four seven Dory. I I like that. That maybe that's a better name than Chonkinthia or Chonkthia. Three for set. TNC's two for six with an on hit. E strike is any card for seven. Fennel Spire Spirit is three for seven or three for seven plus one. Raging Beatdown is three for seven or three for eight. Wounded Bull is three for seven or three for eight. 
347 Dory. We can have that be our uh, code name. Are you on 347 Dory? Ooh, we got a Lexi. Okay. Okay, so this can be rough depending on if they're on Death Dealer or not. Because we have no D Reacts. That's kind of annoying. Okay, uh, against Lexi. I mean, this main board is fine, but we want. We would prefer these to be two cost. Because we're very likely to have a Frostbite. It's hard for us to use E Strike, hard for us to use Wounded Bull, hard for us to use Barraging uh, Bighorn. Um. Yeah, E Strike is actually like worse than these, I think. I think these are more likely to get value here than the Wounded Bull. Because Lexi's very likely to not block. But I'm also equally likely to be less HP as well, so. But I think this is slightly better. Okay, I guess the rest of the cards can stay. Fancy, fancy card backs. 347, Dory. you love it. Any thoughts on Surging Militia? It's my budget replacement for CNC. So that's the one that's two for five. When they block with a card, it gets pumped by one. Uh, yeah, Heart, Heart is good, but I don't think Heart is good against Lexi. Yeah, it might be, actually. But it's a no block. That's the problem. Um... Surging Militia is fine. Uh, you could use... Um, uh, erase Face is significantly cheaper and still has a nice effect. Uh, but yeah, Surging Militia is pretty good too. Okay. Did I go first or second? I didn't see. He went first. Loaded some stuff. Okay, it's my turn. Okay, I guess I see and see him, right? <laughs> That's it. And do I put Glistening to Arsenal? Seems good. Then I have to draw like a big pump or singing steel blade if I put that in arsenal. Whereas stroke of foresight is like more useful. Um, I guess we go with the glistening. I mean, Lexi doesn't like the block. But she's gonna have to block this. Plus one for each non-equipment, yep. Totally fine. I mean, you could also just use Raging Onslaught. Like, that's three for seven, blocks for three, vanilla. Pretty good here. Okay. Winter's Bite was revealed, so this will... So I have to pay or discard probably twice if this hits. So... I... I mean, if I let this hit, I have to let this hit as well, so... I mean, this, this card is pretty good with us, so I think we're in good shape. So I think we're just going to pitch away our hit and run, I think. So we can glistening, pitch energy potion. If we pitch away our glistening, then we can hit and run glistening. And then if he overblocks, we e-pot, which is nice. And arsenal that. So that might actually be better. Okay, so we're going to pay with Glistening. We just hope that after this hits, this is not going to be a zero-cost card that he can check at us. Oh, no, actually, he doesn't. He can't do that because even if he fires, this doesn't have go again. Yep. Good. Perfect. 
Um, all right, so we're gonna glistening steel blade, pitch, hit and run, and then we're gonna go swinging. Very, th very, very threatening card. A brutal assault is two for six. I'm thinking of raging onslaught, not brutal assault. Um, but anyways, there's there's many different choices. Even like cards like cadaverous contraband. Uh, that's two for six on hit. You put a non-attack action card on the top of your deck is also decent. Uh, you can just go to the database and just search for uh, generic two for sixes. There's there's quite a few actually in the game. There's like pound for pound. That one has dominate. If it's not the or is dominate or go again it has go again if they're not defended by. A, equal or greater power card, something like that. All right, very tough block for, for Lexi here. Because she doesn't run any D-Reacts. That's, like, that's actually, like, really, really, really rough. She overblocks. Totally fine. I just play E-Pod. He doesn't overblock. Fine. All right, just giving me a counter? Okay. Sure. Okay, so I guess here I just e pot to pitch, right? Do I swing again? Yeah, I do, and I do it with bracers. If they overblock, I arsenal iron song. If they don't block, I arsenal iron song. If they even block, I play iron song. Contraband is okay, but it telegraphs your turn to the opponent, but you can also load your hand with a blue. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Actually, non-attack action cards that are blue. There's not very many that Dory plays. Warrior's Valor, basically. Hit and run in Warrior's Valor. So you, you can guarantee a blue, so it's not that bad. No blocks again. Is this Lexi crazy? I mean, you don't give Dory three counters and live, generally. Okay. Alright, looks like we're racing. Oh, God. <laughs> it just gets even better. Oh, no, with a Frostbite, less better. Oh no, Winter's Bite less less good here. Okay, um That's not very good. Alright, so if he has a fuse chilling ice vein, I may have to discard several cards here. Alright, so I'm just gonna try to keep a blue. Swing, maintain my counter. So I think I will pay with the glistening. Because if I pay with the glint, I may not have enough resources to do anything next turn. If I get another frostbite, which... I may, may not. I think it's better to pay with the glistening. It's close, though. I like setting up a blue or getting a spoils back. Yep. Resolving Seek and Destroy. Okay, so he has Seek and Destroy. That's not good. Alright, so how many cards are we blocking with here? I mean, I want to get lower in life so I can block for more efficient value here, but I do want to block this, so we need to block four plus a card. And if he has rain razors, so be it. Does this have go again? Yeah, it has go again because his base is higher. Okay. Yeah, even if he can destroy hits, it's fine. All right, we kind of don't want this in hand. We don't want this in Arsenal at the moment because we have three Dawnblade counters. 
So this is uh, where the chunkiness might come to uh, affect us in a bad way here. Frost lock. Uh oh. Was it fused? Fused with hypothermia. So if this hits us, I can't pitch my glint. Disaster. Uh oh. That's really bad. I'm going to lose all my counters. Can't pitch glint. Uh oh. Can't pitch or play. Like, how do I block this? One, two, three, four, five. And then I. Fendel's Fighting Spirit to Courage. Is that the play? That maintains my counters, probably, right? That might be the play. This feels so bad. Feels so bad. Or play a combination. Yeah, that's what you could do is you run two, 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 two. Like two of the two of the wounded bull, two of the Fennel's Fighting Spirit, two of the E Strike, and then they never know what's coming. <laughs> See which one you like the best. Okay, so I think it's worth it to blow courage to maintain the counters on the Dawn Blade, so we're gonna do it. So from the Lexi's perspective, it's actually not obvious that this is Iron Song response because I think I would do this play no matter what was it. Eh, not, eh, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Eight. Eight is not enough, sir. You have a no block? There's no reason to, like, yeah. F. F indeed, sir. Okay, he just gave up. Okay. I don't have CNT. I'm running two E-Strike, two Fendels, two Erase Face, two Wounded Bull. Yeah, let's let's take a look at this. So Alright, so if we go for generics attacks uh cost three. There's only a few that are show uh, that are actually good here. So obviously we don't play Rouse. We probably don't play out muscle. But you could, I guess. Pound for pound, if you have less health against Dominate, that's not that great. Muscle Mud is obviously bad. So you're basically playing Fendel's Fighting Spirit Red. You also, I guess you could play Red and Yellow if you wanted to. That's not too bad. Um, we do run some Last Ditch Effort. Raji Braun hides there. Wounded Bull's here. There's also Raging Onslaught. But E-Strike is just uh, strictly better than Raging Onslaught. So I'd, I would uh, just try to get the E-Strike. Um, but in the two costs, there are um, obviously CNC Cadaverous Contraband is an option. Uh, Brutal Assault is two for six vanilla. Oh, you could go with uh, uh, and uh, Nourishing might be okay as well. Although this will almost never be on, but yeah. Um... Rally the rear guard might not be bad. Actually, Adrenaline Rush is a card I've looked at. Uh, that's two for four, blocks for two, but if you have less life, it gains three. So this is two for seven. Uh, Stony Wooten Hog, I use this in Bolton. So this is just like Barraging Bronhide, except it's two for six instead of two for seven. If it's defended by less than two non equipment cards, it's plus one. There's Surging Militia that you were talking about. I think that one's pretty good. Uh, Zealous Belting, you'd obviously never play. Erase Face is an option. Uh, Brother in Arms is not very good, uh, unless you're running Tunic, but I, I don't think that's worth it. Drone is banned. Demolition Crew, you have to reveal cards. Uh, Regurgitating Slog, I guess if you run a single copy of Slogism, maybe you can do something kind of cute. But I'd say, like, Erase Face is probably the best choice. Uh, Cadaverous Contraband is not bad either. Um... You could even experiment with Adrenaline Rush. I think Adrenaline Rush is not bad. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, Brother in Arms doesn't have the same breakpoint. Yeah, generally you want you you want to use the the chunkier attacks. I think. I mean, having some two cost is good too. So. All right. So he just DC'd. All right. We'll go back to the main menu. All right. We're nine and three, boys. All right, let's join this competitive game. Oh, another player already joined. Oh, that's bad. Competitive, I'm Lexi. Maybe I should do that, huh? I'm Dory. Yeah, there are enough budget options. The the best budget option actually might just be yellow Fendel's Fighting Spirit. Like, Fendel's Fighting Spirit is really nice. Blue pitch, swing with blade, drop, over block, glint, swing, erase face, yep. Yeah. So the two costs definitely have a have a a use. Kano, alright, so this time we're gonna we're gonna roll with our courage. Hello. Um, okay, so we're going to go with AB plus Courage. Last time I went with AB plus Tunic, but the game is so fast. You are. The card, guys. All right, we're going with AB2, Courage, Bolters, and we're gonna bring in extra blues, uh, the Oasis, and what are we gonna cut? So we we generally don't wanna just E-Strike them because, uh, yeah. Um, what else don't we wanna do? Fendel's Fighting Spirit, we're almost never gonna be lower than them. So actually this, this matchup, we're, we're not running very many attacks, actually. I guess we have to run Bunny Strike. Yeah, so we're... Unfortunately, we're not going Chonky Boys. We're only going one East Strike, three CNC. <laughs> like, this was never going to be on against Kato. If you're East Striking them, you you basically have no energy left over. That leaves you completely vulnerable. This is not bad, I guess, but I... We don't want more cards in our deck. And then Wounded Bull, we're never going to be lower than them, so. Dang. All right. Uh, let's go for it. Hi, bro. Good luck on the stream. Oh, hi. Hi, Michael. Thanks for tuning in. Speaking of Kano, I was curious about Saber's Lantern for AB1 so you could keep Courage Gauntlet. And boots and hood for the second AB. I the gauntlet is really not important. Like if you if they're gonna play nourishing emptiness, you already have enough armor. And AB two AB three doesn't matter against Icelander, which is gonna be way 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 more common. All right, Cindering foresight from hand. Op three plus one damage. Sure. Yeah, I, I think Bolton may do that, but I don't think it's worth it for um, Dory to do that. Bottom, top, top. Blind Kano. Not te not technically blind, I guess, but sure. Okay. Gaze the Ages. Very good card. Play it. Op 2 goes back to hand. The game is holding priority all the time. He knows I have Oasis. Kano again. Another gaze. Okay. He has like three cards here, yeah. It's 
guy has Ragamuffin's hat, so this is a Blazing Aether combo deck. So this Oasis is going to be critically important. End of turn. <sighs> okay. Reluctantly, I will say okay. Alright, we're just Warriors Valor Swing. I guess we just let this hit Arsenal this. Is it better than attacking again? Yeah, this is going to be important, I think. Two of it. Do I even want to do that? I think I have to. This hand's not very good. Glisten or spoils? I mean, without a pump, glistening is bad, so let's just go spoils. Do I even want glistening next turn? I probably should have pitched the glistening for this. Oh well. The more and more I play, the, the less and less and less I like this card. As crazy as it sounds. Like, when you read it, it sounds insane, but when you actually are in-game, like... Yeah. Lime Kano, okay. Uh oh. Okay, this is not too bad actually. Glistening Steel Blade, Swing. be worse. We can actually use all the cards in our hand, at least. You see the problem with this? Playing this and then swinging is just three. That's the problem. Like, you just block six, and then what, what can I do? <laughs> like, even Twinning Blade doesn't punish him here. Winning singing. I mean, singing Steel Blade, unfortunately, I don't have the resources to do anything with it. I think we just pass the turn. Okay, now we have a powerful hand. Wow. Oh no, double potion already. That's very bad. That's very bad.
swing, and then I have the bolters here. That's so sad. This is really, really bad. This is gonna save my ass, I think. Blocking with a wildfire means he already has a wildfire. I think, right? That, generally, that's what that means, right? Okay, this is much better. I can actually punish him here. Unfortunately, I didn't use my courage here, but that's fine. I guess we don't need it. We're going to draw off a glint. That's not good. We don't want two of these. I guess we, we can pitch it if we need to. So. Uh, I could bolters and attack him again, but I don't think it's worth it. We just got some damage in, took most of his cards. Good enough. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's not good. Swing... One, two, three, four. I'll leave us some energy for this. I'm a bit slow on the meta, but don't you want more than two AB versus Kano? Yes, but I don't have it in my... Uh, deck list. Funny enough, I've been coming to the same conclusion about glistening in the past week. This is Hoodwill. Yep, I know this is that's Hood. Yeah, I know that your cardboard cast. Uh, been enjoying these marathon streams. Thank you so much. Always, always nice to hear kind words. Uh, it's definitely her weakest specialization. I do find it scares players into overblocking a lot, but I suspect that won't happen as much in high level play. Exactly. It is a win more card. And you really, you have to get, like, god hands with it. Like, I, sorry. Oh, he passed me. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, so I have an option. I could just pour damage into him and pass the turn, leaving the bolters up. Or I can try for a plus one counter here. I think I just pour damage into him might be better. Let's just do that. We're guaranteed a blue next turn, which is nice. Um, yeah, exactly. At high level play, Glistening Steel Blade is just not getting it done. And, um... I played a lot of Dory games in the Crucible of War Monarch meta in Blitz, and um, she felt very smooth without Glistening Steel Blade. As soon as I added in Glistening Steel Blade, run through, this deck list doesn't have run through. Like, my deck started having too many yellows. Like, I want powerful red cards or I want pitch or I want god tier yellow cards and unfortunately the only god tier yellow card at the moment is singing steel blade like this is very close to getting cut to be frank like even twinning blade if you're very diligent you can get away with just one Okay. 
This Oasis is really gonna save my ass here. Like, he's going to try to one-shot me. I mean, this is gonna be very interesting to see. Reverberate for one damage. So he could banish a one or less cost plate as an instant. He still has his action point, so it doesn't even matter. No blocks. E pot. Uh oh. He's got three e pots, boys. Have you found any matchups that have gotten weaker with the Chonky Dory build? Uh. I think the Bravo matchup is worse. The Dory matchup is definitely... The Mirror is definitely worse. Um, you're also losing some pumps, so you, it might be hard to get through Briar if they're playing... Like, Briar can basically guarantee their channel mount heroic turns against you because you're slower. Uh, the traditional Dory is, like, heavily favored into Fi, but this deck is just, like, a slight favored into Fi. Basically, you're sacrificing your good aggro matchups for a good Icelander and Olden matchup. Do I double sharpen steel here? I guess I do, right? Swing. Like, this forces him to block or do something, right? Like, it, it's too... It, there's too much possibility for him to just die here. He could throw the tunic in front of it, but then it's time to go. No blocks. Sure. Bolter's time. I shouldn't do anything until I only have one resource left. Do I have bolters here? Or do I just say, so be it? This is actually a tough choice. If I have bolters, I'm going to go down to one resource, and then I... And then my attack will be for three. He can throw a tunic in front of it. It doesn't kill him. I might need to courage into... No, that doesn't feel right either. Boltering here forces him to have it this turn. If I bolter swing, I go down to one resource. If he blocks the tunic, I have to play singing. No. No, 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 no. He just goes to one. If I break courage, I have enough resources to... Maybe I'm just supposed to bolters. Put him to one, and then he loses his tunic. I think I think it make okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Let's do that. If he wants to block with his tunic, then that's fine with me. So no matter what, I'm not gonna play this. Because that leaves me too open. Okay, so. Gonna take the tunic energy, fine. It's expected. Okay, so I do have AB2 plus Oasis to block something. Okay, Storm Striders, sure. Alright, here we go, boys. Oasis plus three pitch. Yeah, that might have been better. I I'm running bolters, by the way, so I have AB2. Alright, let me think for a minute, sorry. Take your time. Yeah, the the courage feels like if I didn't it's it's really really close I think. Yeah. By the way, if any of you guys are watching the stream and you want to take a look at the deck list, you can go to Fabry and look up Jail's Chunkinthia. 
Victory V1. Okay, so Storm Striders, Crucible, pitched Aether Flare Blue. Okay. Well, I'm either dead or alive. That's not really saying much, but like, it's all in his court right now. Crucible resolves, sure. This has been here the whole game. This has been in the arsenal for seven turns. Yep, yeah, I would have three resources, that's true. Yeah, pretty long stream. It's been I've been live for four hours from seven to eleven central. In general, I want to get like seven games roughly per day. Um, because, well, and that means that the stream can go for a long time. Okay. So, Aether Wildfire from, from Arsenal. So I'm going to let him pay for this first, and then I'll respond to that. It's going to pass parade on this, right? So they are paying for Metacarpus node and are choosing how to pay for it. Why didn't they pop their potions yet? That means more cards in hand, right? So Yeah, three epots from Kano is very terrifying, yes. He has deja vu potion and ragamuffins. There's so much shenanigans that can go on with this. Like so far, there's only a blue aether flare here. But if he has a good combo piece in hand, I think I, he might not have it because I forced him to have it this turn arbitrarily. So, okay, so he wants to resolve Aether Wildfire. No. Potions for Kano activations is two free activations. Yep. All right, so with Oasis shutting down Aether Wildfire, so this, this got double pump, so this is six. So if I pitch into this, this does zero. So. Lesson in Lava, okay. We're gonna see if this Silver Bullet card is enough. Okay. Blind Kato. Deja Vu putting... Uh, probably Lesson on top. Yep, Lesson on top. Okay. E pot again. Lesson with Metacarpus. Did he pay for Metacarpus? I can't tell. Can I click on this and tell? Nope. Less than the lava, total damage six. All right, how is this six? <laughs> Less than the lava does three. Metacarpus is one. Crucible is one. Doesn't Crucible... Graham is probably laughing at me. I won't tell him. How is this dealing six? Plus one crew? Plus one meta? Like, I can only scroll up, scroll up so far. Uh, let's see. Played Wildfire. Crucible of Aether Weave gives the next card you play this turn. So he played this first, so th shouldn't this affect... 
shouldn't the crucible affect this because he played it first? This seems... Okay, I, th I think this might be a bug. I don't know why this is six. This should be four. If he paid for meta. Bugs. The client is stacking meta triggers incorrectly. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're not blocking the lesson in the lava. We're blocking the wildfire. Okay, so zero block on this. We'll see if it matters. We're gonna... We're... <laughs> We're either we're, we're we're either already dead or we're we're fine. I think we're fine because we're oasising the aether wildfire. So yeah, very 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 buggy. Now he can tutor for aether wildfire, but he doesn't have a Kano activation active now. I guess he can pitch for it. He can get another wildfire, but then he needs a blazing to do anything. I'm on thirty one. I, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is if this resolves, he dies. Oh no, he's not dead. He has he has tuning. He effectively dies. <clears throat> Cause he doesn't have storm striders anymore. Okay, so they're gonna choose any card and put it on the top. So it should be a tome of Aetherwind, right? Or a tome of Fendel. Can it search for has to be wizard card. Okay, so has to be tome of Aetherwind on top. They pitch a blue, draw two. Hopefully draw another blue, and then they get a card for free, basically. I, I don't I don't think uh Aether Wildfire or Blazing does it here. Oh man, I think I messed up. <laughs> uh do you wanna like Cough, cough, deja vu for her. <laughs> this Kano deck seems very complicated to play. I just poke things with my sword. Okay, wildfire is revealed and put on top, sure. Does Oasis Respite resolve? Question mark. No, it does not. Kano activation. Pitching an eye. Op 2. He knows... Okay, so... He sent the second from the top to the bottom. Banishing the top, which is Wildfire. Playing Wildfire. Ragamuffin's hat. I don't know what just happened there, but... Put a, a card on the top or bottom. Okay. No, he counted properly. Okay. Do the thing, please. <laughs> Pitch Emmer to school. Okay, he's got it. He's got he's got the combo pieces. Okay. Okay, so I have to block this for two. Okay, so Aether Wildfire just dealt two damage to me. Oasis Respite resolves. I can't block any of that, so I block zero. And then Blazing deals, I have no idea how much it deals. 14. 
Not enough. I think that also dealt some extra damage as well, so. Look like he's not even blocking with the tunic. He's just resigned to his fate. GG. That deck is hard to play. Takes a lot. Excited for higher AB. Yeah, I normally run AB3. But I don't have to. Very, very quick game. All the games against Kena. I would have flipped for lower cost spells to stack, but I but AB3 I roll different. Yep. Okay, well, Chonk Thea goes to 10 and 3. I'm going to put in brackets. This is also called the 347 build. So, if you're talking with other warriors, you can use these code names. 347 and BBB. And then they'll know what you're talking about. I run Hatchet AB3. I see. That's cool, that's cool. All right. Okay, one more game. So we hit seven games. All right, we hit, looks like we got a competitive CC game that we can join right here. Ah, it is the Bravo again. Ooh. A rematch. <laughs> if you like. Or I can go away. Up here. Okay. Alright, rematch against Bravo. We lost one to one against this Bravo. Because we slightly misplayed, yeah. Alright, you need to head to bed. I'll see you later, dude. I'm assuming you aren't running Tunic in that deck? I am running Tunic. Uh, it's only for the Icelander matchup. Alright, uh, against Bravo we brought everything in. Uh, except the Oasis. Um, did we want Remembrance? That actually didn't matter. I don't- I think we're actually gonna skip Remembrance. This actually might not be necessary in our deck list. Okay, uh, and he's going to go first. That's bad for me. All right, let's go. We actually need to work in 50 minutes, sadly, but I love this content. Not really into streams, but this looks like something I could watch all day. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, um, well, if we take some damage, we can Wounded Bull. That's not too bad. We draw both of our big finishers. Oh, that's not good on turn one. Okay, if he doesn't attack me, I will pitch stack these to the bottom. That's a very unique deck, wow. Yeah, you can uh, check out the deck list at Fabry. You look for Dory, look for Josh Lost Sevens, Jail, Chonkanthea, Dory. B1, CNC, E-Strike, Fendel's Fighting Spirit, Barraging Ronhide, Wounded Bull. 15 giant attacks. Alright, he's sending six at me. Um, if I give up both of these, I don't have any left in my deck. So I think we have to give up Wounded Bull plus a card. Or we just give up three cards here, might be better. We need to pitch this to the bottom, that's the problem. We need, we, do we need the route? That's the question. Um, I mean, route is one of the best finishers, better than overpower. So I guess we'll go, we'll block like this. Pummel, ah, turn one pummel, okay. Taking four. I kind of wanted to throw three cards there, but yeah. Okay, so... 
Uh, this is not a good hand. All right, we'll, we'll just pitch for everything. Wounded Bull, e Arsenal, East Strike. These are great late game. Those two cards together is really nice. Macho and Tear Asunder pitched, okay. Taking eight, really. Okay, this game's gonna be much faster <laughs> than the last game, okay. Ra okay, you wanted to play Rouse, okay. And gain a life with that, makes sense. Okay, seven, all right, what are we doing here? We're just blocking here, most likely. Uh, let's block with these. Tech plating, sure. Hammer for six, also fine. Do we want a twinning blade or we want last chip? Well, we want last chip for to block. We want we're gonna e strike. Put the twinning blade on bottom. Okay, so we played this guy. We we know he has three sink belows and two unmovables, so we really need to watch for those. Thinking about blocks. So this is the 14th game on this deck with no changes. I think I have some ideas about what to change here. She's one chonky girl. That's right. Okay, there's the second pummel, okay. Okay. That's kind of odd from him. Alright, we're gonna block with these, uh, these, I guess, and we'll, uh, CNC him. Or not. Okay. Interesting. Um,. I guess we're pitching for C and C. Hold the Fendels. Or do we want to launch the Fendels at him? I guess C and C is better, right? Alright, we're gonna we'll pitch stack uh like that. Alright, gotta go. Have a good night. Alright, thanks, Mark. Have a good evening. Well. No, you said you're Oh, you have work in 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm not sure where in the world you live, but, you know, have a good rest of your 24 hours. All right, double block. Uh, okay, sure. All right, we have a pretty good pitch stack at the bottom, but I don't think we're going to get there. Heart of Fendel, very nice. Heart of Fendel, play Fighting Spirit, gain two life? That's... That's value, boys. All right. Uh, do we block six? I mean, this actually is a good hand to attack him with. I drew sink off the blessing. Yeah, no hammer. 
Uh, do I just pitch, block with the stroke, and just attack back? War is Valor, sharpens heal. He has to give me three cards. likes his hand, he's gonna have to take damage here. He also doesn't know what my arsenal is. Like, this this deck attacks from, like, two radically different... You, your brain has to switch between, like, two different modes on defense. It's very, 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 very uh, mentally taxing, I think. I'm also learning how to play this deck much, much quicker now. I think IRL, I wouldn't run into any time issues. Here, the games kind of go long sometimes because um, I'm not used to the interface. Probably block for six. He has a sink below somewhere. One of his sink blows is on the bottom. Like 42 or 43 down. So he'll see that in 10 turns. So turn 16. Okay, exact he's block means he has a D react. So we just have to get it out of his hand. Um. We basically should stroke so we can probably send this to the bottom for later. We set up a blue. Or if we get an Iron Song response, that also would be nice. Uh, this go to the bottom. There's no way this hits, I think. I guess... We wouldn't if this does hit somehow. This hit this is not gonna hit. Never mind. It doesn't matter. This goes to the bottom. He's got a sink below. <clears throat> to be fair, you are also taking time to explain your thoughts and interact here as well. Yeah. Like sometimes I'm so dedicated to talking to chat that sometimes I forget to make a move in the game and it's like tells me, hey, you're inactive, do something. Okay, this has to be a sink below here. There's no way he lets this hit. Did he let it hit? No, he didn't. Okay. So I put this into my hand, and then I put Alpha Blood on the bottom. Assuming that this is never going to hit. He passed. Really? Okay, if I draw... Hmm... I drew a red Iron Song response. So if I blow bolters, pitch this to attack, it's very likely to hit. But he does have six armor, or five armor here. So you could just throw five in front of it. Looks like he likes his hand, or he doesn't have a D-react. Or he's calling my bluff that I don't want to use this yet, which I don't. So I don't, I, I, I'll decline it. Uh-oh, this is a blocking hand. Hopefully he doesn't dominate anything. He's a seismic surge, so this definitely could be like pitch pitch crippling crush or something. Okay, tech plate again, sure. Hammer. Really? 
there's a hammer. There's no way hammer is the frick. Oh, there. Okay. So, only one float, so we're good. So, we're going to block with two cards and pitch, attack, and then iron song response. Okay, so, we're going to be out of iron song responses, though. Oh, no, we still have one left. Okay. Block two, pitch the Fendals, play the Iron Song. It's not great, but could be worse. Could be worse. If we block with this, we're losing out on a health, so. All right. That's what we're going to do. He might not block this. Which actually means we don't get value from our Iron Song response. Which will be very, very, very sad. Okay, he did. Okay, great. Sweet. This Arsenal card has been here a while. Kind of smells like Sink Below. Okay, this is a very nice hand, actually. I'm higher life than him. Ugh. Okay, if I have to give up a card, what I give up? The spoils of war? Plus cards, and then I pitch hit and run swing. Glint. I have glint and a... Yeah, okay, that sounds okay. Haven't seen any unmovables yet. Definitely gonna glint first. Depending on what we draw, we could actually just pitch Fendel Sliding Spirit. Yay for catching this live. Any changes to the deck since day one? New. No. We are. Uh, this is my 14th game on it. Um, this is the last game for the evening. But after this, I'm gonna evaluate. So there's some changes I'm probably gonna make. Uh, we'll have a V2. You know, in the coming days. Okay, block for six. Seems fine. All right, let's glint, see what we draw. We could just follow up with Fennel's Fighting Spirit. All right, what do we draw? Okay. Uh, so now we actually can go over this if we want. We lost our overpower, though, so we don't have it back up. We still have a route in our deck. This is going to shuffle our deck as well. That's not good. I think we just... Pitch, and then Fendel's Fighting Spirit, Arsenal, Time Snap, play it out sometime soon. Sounds like a plan. Alright, um... We're going to swing, pitching the singing... You might be like, Josh, seeing Seal Blade is much better in Arsenal. Uh, it's not time yet to really go for him. We need to set up some potions, get him low, and then we're going to use the potions plus the courage and bolters to get the job done. We have to remember we don't have a... We don't have a... Um, we don't have a... Remembrance, so our, our, we can't... We have to play our last Steel Blade Supremacy here. Okay, sure, take four. Okay, Arsenal this. Four. Okay, so we want to play Glistening, pitching this. Swing, we have one float. If he over blocks. We play the time snap out. Arsenal the barraging. So we don't need this card technically. But if we 
But if we, um... This this card could force out a, uh... A D-React or an Overblock, which is nice. I think it's worth taking damage here. Because if we block with this, it becomes very obvious this is not a threat. Okay, so we'll take four here. Alright, Glistening, Pitching, this. Swing. So three go again on hit counter. If for some reason he only blocks... I, I hope he only blocks three so I can Iron Song. He sinks, and I play the time stop out. That's what I'm hoping happens here. If he double blocks this, then I'm just sad. Oh, okay, I'm even more sad now. I did not expect that. Okay, so do I put the barraging beatdown, barraging Brunhide into my arsenal? I guess I do, because it blocks for two only. Sure. Play the time snap out. Arsenal the... Okay. Okay, um, not great. This is pretty bad here. Okay, or we get our whole hand ripped apart here. We don't have enough armor here. We only have one, two, three armor, four, five, six, not enough. So we just block like this. If we lose these two, we're fine. I think we don't block here, actually. As, as long as we... Don't lose the E-Pot, we're fine. Even if we lose the E-Pot, as long as we don't lose the Iron Song response and the E-Pot, we still have a turn. Okay. No blocks. Okay. This works. Sink blow from hand, so that narrows us down to sink blow here. Okay, I block E Strike him back. Or I block Warrior's Valor, threatening this. That might be better. Because that gets this gone. Unless it's a pummel, no way. Okay. So I, I suspect that card sink below. And I haven't seen him pitch one of those unmovables. He might have changed his deck list, but... So I know one of his sink blows is coming back on, like, turn... Sa what did I say? 16? 17? 18? Something like that. He's tempted to do something crazy. YOLO. Okay, so he's taking six and then taking three. Ho! Oh. Goodbye, counter. <laughs> uh, well...
Do we just block with our armor? And then Courage, Domblade, hold this. He's kind of low, but might not be the time. The first attack gets minus four. So I could take this, go to two. But then that negates my sharpened steel and the counter. This hand's not good enough. I just have to block. Unfortunately, this hand doesn't block for 12. Because if it did, I could just... This would be easier. I really need to get value out of this, I think. I think I just block, take three, move on. Yeah, I'm not supposed to courage bolters off this. I, I need my... I need my, um... Supremacy. But he's holding this sink below for freaking ever. So we real Like, we lost our overpower, and we only have a route in deck. Like... Ugh, from turn one. That's sad. Like we're not we're not gonna break through on our big turn, I think. Two float, this could be pummel. Yeah, definitely could be pummel. Okay, there's one of his unmovables going away. Okay, so we block like that. Just attack the arsenal, I guess. Uh, I guess we just got this. This matchup's really hard without any DRX. Like, just three shunts already gives me a ton of counterplay. Throwing more armor. So he's really all in on this. So he must have a dominated attack here. If we can keep two cards, we'll do it. No, that's not that's not too bad. Keep the overpower in the deck. Oh, it's dominate. Oh shit. Oh, it's dominate. Okay. Okay, he knows I have an overpower. He knows I have a last ditch effort. Okay, so I have to throw one of these in front of it. And then pitch the other one. Three. Which app are we playing on? We're playing on Talishar.net. Talishar.net. T A L I S H A R.net. We're not going to find our supremacy fast enough, I think. I think it's... I think I pitched it very early, so we're going to see it in, like, three turns. We're probably dead by then. Take six. Unmovable from Arsenal. It's very sad. Very, very sad.
Oh god. Don't have enough armor. Okay, so we basically have to go all in with this hand. So we're blocking with this. This hand isn't even good enough to go all in with. That's the problem. We're gonna have to discard two cards. Ugh. Having zero D reacts in my deck makes this so hard. <laughs> Discard two cards. I guess we discard these. Um, we're just dead here. There's nothing we can do. Uh, our opponent played this very well, and this is also the second time we're playing him, so he kind of knows to just block a bit, put a. D-React in Arsenal, use his Terra Sunder, Pummel, and Crippling Crush to gain tempo. I mean, do we Courage here and just swing? If he blocks for six, we just are out of luck. I mean, we're out of luck no matter what we do here, I think. This is actually worth Bolters if he doesn't block here. Uh oh, we have a no block in hand. That's not good. So if he can dominate and send enough damage, we just lose here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. GG. Well played, well played. It was a pretty fast game. We got to a second cycle within 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. This style does much better against Oldham, not Bravo. Hopefully I don't see a lot of Bravos in the future in general. All right. Ending at 10 and four. I think we do need to add some D-Reacts, but I don't know. Like, what matchups would we bring them in then? Okay, so cards I'm considering cutting. Uh, CNC feels just average without Pummel. It's okay, I guess. Good thing Steel Blade. This feels like a win more card. This might be cut to two and moved to the sideboard. I don't know if we need three Iron Song responses. I don't think we need three Sharpen Steels. And we might cut one of these brawn hides and the remembrance that just free up like five or six slots. Okay. Uh, well, we got our seven games in for tonight. Uh, thank you everybody for watching uh, the stream. I think that's where we're going to end it. Uh, Anyways, uh, if you want to give me some feedback on this, uh, you can... Uh, is it time for Pummels? It might be. Uh, like, adding blue Pummels might be the play here. Um, like, sometimes I just have the tempo for some reason, and I draw this. I, like, I can't use all the cards in my hand, so... Maybe. I don't know. If I, I think the better play, then, is to go into the two-cost cards and play Tunic. But then I don't have my big courage turn to end the game. So I, I don't know. 
Uh, anyways, uh, if you want to give me some feedback on this, that'd be nice. Uh, you can uh, message me on Twitter at Josh underscore TCGZ. Or you can, you know, join our the Card Guys Discord, and uh, I'm I'm there as well. Um, if you want to play this uh, deck, you could go to Fabry and look up Jail's Chonkanthea deck. Um, yeah. All right, I think that's that's all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, all right, have a good evening or morning or afternoon, wherever you're at. All right, take care.